The next troubleshooting tool I want to show you is the packet capture. If you're familiar with the packet capture applications like TCP dump or Wireshark, you will recognize this. Packet capture is a functionality in the firewall to store a copy of packets going through the firewall for later analysis, or at least see what packets are going through the firewall. And to use the command packet capture, you use the command capture. The capture command is used to start a capture session, and you can use the command show capture to see which captures you have currently configured in the firewall because you can run multiple capture sessions at the same time in the device. But the command capture is used to start a new capture, and the first thing you need to specify is a name for that capture. My capture. It's just a local name that you can reference in later on. Capture my capture. Then you specify normally an interface, and that's the interface you want to capture packets from. And in this case, I use, for example, inside. And I normally want to see that there is packet flowing. I do not specify any more than real time. Real time means that I get the information on the screen in real time right here in this session. And I can do that to show you. And it writes one line per packet and it shows us the current time, it shows us the source and destination IP, the protocol, and some brief information about what that packet contains. So most packets flowing right now is ICMP packets between the server 10.0.0.100 and Google 8888. If I do not want to run it real time, I can let it run in the background, after the interface, I just press enter without specifying real time, and then I get the prompt back. I should say that when I run real time, I press control C to break it. But without real time, I get the prompt back at the same moment. And if I do show capture, I will see that the capture is running in the background and that has captured 11 case of data, 12 case of data, and so on. So I can see it running. If I want to specify which packets or which type of packets I should capture, I can do that in different ways. For example, first of all, let's delete this one. No capture my capture. So I can specify here match. I write the match keyword and then I can specify protocol like, for example, TCP, any, any. So I specify all TCP packets show capture my capture actually no packets has been stored yet because there's no tcp packets going through the firewall right now and if i do no capture i delete the capture and i change it to match for icmp instead any any there i will receive the icmp traffic only that's one way to specify it directly on the command line another way is to create an access list then I'd need to go into configuration mode and show run and create an access list for specifying what packets to capture. I do a access list capture. It's just the name of the access list. Extended permit ICMP any any. Actually, in the packet capture, you need to specify any four, any four, which means that it is IPv4 packets. So I can show capture. I can use this access list to specify more granular which packets to capture by using the command capture my new capture. It's just a name. Access list. And I have forgotten the access list name. Show run access list. Capture. Capture interface inside and real time if I want to. Now I use the access list to specify ICMP traffic. I can use that to specify specific hosts as well, source and or destinations or ports and more granular. And I can use multiple lines in the access list. One caveat is to not use any, but any for, because there is a flaw in the packet capture command that cannot match on both IPv4 and IPv6. And if you write any, it means all IPv4 and IPv6 hosts. And you cannot use that because then you get an error message. 
So in the access list, use any for instead of any. So I used access list to specify that. I remove real time and I am back to the prompt, show capture. I will see that I have captured nine case of data and it's running and it's increasing. What I can do here is instead of just seeing these lines on the screen, which is quite limited in functionality, I can use ASDM to download and have a look at the packets. So let me show you that. So let's head over to a client that have access to the firewall. This is my Windows client that is on the outside of the firewall. I can use the web browser to connect to the firewall here, just like I use this to log in to download any connect or use the portal. I can use HTTPS colon slash slash hostname slash capture slash capture name. In this case, my new capture. I can use this URL to get a list of current catched packets like this. So I can from outside see that, but that's not all. I can add slash pcap, pcap after that. And what happens then is that a file will be downloaded. The file name is pcap without an extension. And that file contains the packets in a pcap format. And if I start Wireshark, I can open that file. I'll, let me show you that. Open from the downloads folder, pcap, and voila. Here I have in my Wireshark the actual packets grabbed. Not only the lines with information about the packets, but the packets here. And here I can see and analyze them how much as I want to. I can see the information in the packets on layer one, two, three, and four. So I can see that's an Ethernet two frame, the MAC addresses on layer two. I can see the IP header with all the header fields of IP. And I can see the ICMP payload. That's a ping and the data being sent. And right now we're only capturing ICMP packets, but if we had other types of packets here, it would be even more interesting to have a look at it because we can see everything in the packets. By default, it is only storing the first 68 bytes, if I remember right, of each packet. And these packets are a bit longer, so they are a bit cut off here in the end. But we can change that with a capture command as well to make sure that we grab all packets or more parts of the packets. So the packet capture is very powerful. And if you specify an access list that granularly captures only the packets you're interested in, you can grab a few packets in a live environment where a lot of traffic flows is going through the firewall without interfering with anything. So I suggest that you learn and try the packet capture function, especially with uh, in combination with uh, Wireshark to have a look at what's happening inside of the packets, because that's cool, that's interesting, and you learn a lot.